Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tyne. I'm here today with my February makes and favourites video. Sorry this has been a bit delayed in coming to you. I was busy around sort of the start of the month so didn't manage to get it done. And then this week, oh, work is just tiring me out so much because obviously I'm pregnant and when you're pregnant everything's more tiring anyway. So by the time I get home from work on an evening, I get home around 5.30, maybe a little bit later. I'm just so tired. So yesterday and the day before, Monday and Tuesday, I've just got home and sat down on the sofa and fallen asleep basically for a couple of hours and then woken up, had some food and then gone to bed again. So I'm just doing a lot of sleeping when I'm not at work really at the minute. So that's why this video is slightly delayed. So I apologise for that. So February was a really busy month for me in terms of making. I've actually made 10 things, which is a lot considering February is the shortest month. So I feel a sense of achievement. I did manage to get a lot done. I did have half term in there. So I was off work for a week where I was able to get quite a lot done. So, you know, that might be my reasoning. So let's get started on what I have made. The first thing I made was the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan. I've made one of these before. I really, really like the pattern. The fabric I made it in was a cable knit jersey fabric from Lubidoo Fabrics and it's purple, which I love. It's one of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. I'm really, really happy with this cardigan. It's comfy. I love wearing it. The only thing is the fabric has bobbled a little bit. Now I washed it as a pre-wash before I had made the garment and then I've washed it once since I've made the garment and it's bobbled already. Now I don't know if that was my washing or if it's a fabric, I'm not sure. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. I had a meter and a half of this fabric and I did have to do a bit of Tetris in terms of cutting the neckband in more pieces than the pattern suggests so that I could get it out of the one and a half meters. I did attempt to pattern match as well wherever I could. I decided not to opt for pockets because I thought they'll be far too bulky and I'm really pleased be I did that because my overlocker did not enjoy sewing this cable knit fabric when there was two or three layers to sew together, didn't enjoy it at all. So I'm really glad that I didn't go for the pockets because I think it would have just stressed me out in the sewing but also looked bulky and stood out a bit too much. So yeah, make number one, really happy with that one. Right, the second thing I made in February was the Megan Nielsen Jarrah sweater, which I've made a few times before now. I made this in a beautiful lilac sweater knit from Guthrie and Garney, which is just the most gorgeous quality. It's so, so soft. What I find a little bit strange is this Jarrah is the same size as my other Jarrahs and it seems much bigger. I don't know if it's just that the fabric's stretchier, but it's got a real sort of cozy oversized vibe and I like that. I made the tie version again and yeah, I just love it. There's not much else I can say about this sweater. If you haven't made a Jarrah, I would really recommend the pattern. It's really straightforward and just a comfy, cozy make. <laughs> right, the rest of these makes probably aren't going to go in order of when I made them because I couldn't remember the order. But the third thing I'll tell you about is what you can see on the mannequin behind you. It's the Soul Liberated Hinterland dress. I made this for the Felicity Fabrics blog, so I chose the fabric. They sent it to me as a gift in return for the blog post and the photographs. I chose the gorgeous baby cord fabric with glittery stars. I just love, love, love that fabric. I also had a lining fabric, which I used to do the facing, so the neck facing, the armhole facing, and I lined the skirt as well and I use beautiful buttons from Wim Wham. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I won't say any more about that now. I will link the blog post down below and you can head over and read all about the making process and how I found it and my thoughts on the pattern and the finished garment. Another blog post make was for Lubidoo Fabrics. I'm part of their blogger team and I made the paper cut patterns Nexus blouse with their leopard print viscose. This blouse is so, wonderful, it's dramatic and the billowy sleeves are amazing, I really love them and I think this pattern 
and fabric is a perfect match. Again, I'll link to the blog post down below so you can see more photos and more details about the make, but I'm super happy with it. I love the added touch of the buttons that I used for the cuffs because they belong to Sam's lovely Nana Grace, who we sadly lost a few weeks ago. So it's really special to have something of hers in the garments that I make. Yeah, makes me really happy. The next thing I made was actually a dress that I made to wear at Grace's funeral. So I opted for the Nina Lee Mayfair dress because I thought it was really suitable. It's perfect for my growing bump. And I opted for the maxi dress version this time. I've made the shorter version before, but this time I wanted to make the maxi version. I used a beautiful Lady McElroy viscose jersey, which I got from First for Fabrics a while ago. I'm not sure they have any in now, but it's a really lovely fabric. I actually talked about the making of this dress a little bit in some of my daily snippets videos. So if you haven't caught up on those, have a little look back and we'll link it actually. There's one of them where I do quite a lot of the details of making this dress and I'll show you some of the process. So if you're interested, head over and have a little look after this video, of course. Then the next few makes are actually all the same pattern. So again, if you've watched some of my daily snippets videos, you will know that I had a bit of a mammoth sewing session of the closet case ebony. I'd had this pattern recommended to me as a great maternity pattern and I picked it up and I would completely agree. So I have now made three of the tops and one of the tunics. So the three tops that I made, I'll start off with the first one I made in a jungle print viscose jersey from Lubadoo Fabrics. This is the crop t-shirt version, but I managed to add four inches to the length of this one. I couldn't add any more because of the amount of fabric that I had. Ideally, I would have liked to add a little bit more, but as I say, I didn't have enough fabric for that. It was a directional print as well, which sort of limited me a little bit, but I love this top. It's so comfortable, skims over the bump and just, I feel really happy and confident wearing it. I then made my second version of the top, the same adjustment, so four inches, added to the length and this was in a viscose jersey from Sew Over It which I got in their remnant sale before they stopped selling fabric. Then I made the tunic version of this pattern and this was for the Lamazi Fabrics blog. So again that, that was fabric that was sent to me. I chose it and chose my project and then they sent the fabric to me. There's lots more details about that make in particular on my how to sew with double knits video because I used a viscose ponty modal fabric which was beautiful to work with. It's so, so lovely. I can't rave about that fabric enough and the colours just really strike in. And it's not a colour that I usually wear but I've had so many compliments on that colour and how much it suits me. So maybe I need to incorporate red a little bit more into my wardrobe. So yeah, we'll link that video and you can go and find out a little bit more about that make as well. The fourth version of the pattern that I made was again, the cropped t-shirt version, but I used long sleeves and I added six inches to the length this time. This is actually my favorite one, possibly because of the fabric choice. It's made in this beautiful Liberty viscose jersey, which I got from Guthrie and Garney. I adore this fabric and the quality of it is incredible so you really do get what you pay for with the Liberty fabric. I'm also much happier with the length on this one because it does cover my bump and just come down to a length that I'm happy with so I can wear it with leggings and I'm really happy and comfortable wearing that. Wow, I think I'm already up to make number 10. I whiz through those. <laughs> so the final make for February was the Glasshouse Patterns Celine Tea. This was a pattern test that I did and it's going to be a free pattern, I believe, when she releases it. It's a very simple t-shirt made in a knit fabric. So I used a jersey from First for Fabrics. It's their Stoff of Denmark range of fabrics, which are beautiful. They're really good quality. I've got quite a lot of them set aside for making baby clothes. They're just really fantastic. And I picked this one up as a remnant. So I got it as a bit of a bargain and it was perfect for this t-shirt. I'm really happy with this t-shirt. I couldn't fault the pattern really. Slightly oversized at the arm hole area, the sleeve area, but I did feed that back to Glasshouse Patterns in my tester feedback. So that might possibly be changing. I don't know if other people found the same 
in their version that they tested. But great that that's going to be a free pattern that anybody can access. So I'll let you know when I hear about that one being released to the public. So that's everything that I made. I'm really happy with all of my makes for February. I think my favourite one would have to be... Hmm, let's think. Well, I, I do love the Nina Lee Mayfair dress that I made for the funeral as it's got that special meaning behind it. But then my favourite day-to-day make, I would say, is the ebony tea made in the Liberty Viscose jersey. And like I said, I think that is because of the fabric. It is really, really beautiful fabric. And actually, after I'd made that one and worn it for the first time, I ordered a different print of the Viscose jersey from Liberty because it's just so incredible. So yeah, if you haven't made the ebony, I would highly recommend it. My mum has actually made it after me raving about it. She then bought the pattern and has made the dress version in a ponty fabric and looks gorgeous in that. So I would recommend it to anyone if you haven't made it already. Right, so on to some of my favourite things from February. I'll start with my favourite food. And actually, <laughs> my favourite food is basically anything unhealthy. <laughs> this pregnancy, this baby that is in here, just wants lots of sweets and chocolate and crisps. <laughs> They're not really craving any vegetables, which is a shame. <laughs> but if you can't eat rubbish food while you're pregnant then when can you so i'm just embracing it i'm going with it i'm eating the chocolate i'm eating the sweets and the crisps it's fine i'm also trying to get some nutritious balanced meals in as well don't worry baby is getting the nutrients that they need but i'm also snacking on chocolate and sweets and crisps but that's fine <laughs> a book that i loved in February and I absolutely devoured was a book called The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is just a brilliant, brilliant book. It's psychological, a bit mysterious and I really enjoyed it. I think I read it in the space of a few days. I couldn't put it down so I would recommend that book to anyone. I've passed it on to my mum now so I can't show, the, show you the actual book but I'm sure we'll put a photo in here. My favourite music of the month actually began with a gig that we went to. So we went to the Sage to see Fairport Convention and then they released their new album which is called Shuffle and Go. So I have been listening to that non-stop. We've had it on in the car. We don't actually have a CD player in the house but we have a CD player in the car so we've been listening to the CD on our commute to work and back and then also it's now available on Spotify so we've been listening to it around the house as well. A particular standout track which I would direct you towards is track 11, a song called Moon Dust and Solitude. It's absolutely beautiful and yeah I adore it. I listen to that song a lot. I really really like it. I think I've mentioned on here before that I love anything to do with space, space themed, the nursery is going to be space themed and that song is a space themed song. You will find out if you go and have a listen to it. So I would recommend heading over to Spotify and having a little listen to the album. It's really, really good. My favorite Instagram account of the month has been Holly, whose Instagram is at Holls Stevens. So Holly makes some absolutely beautiful clothes. There's lots of standout pieces on her Instagram grid that you should go and have a little look at. In particular in February she made a beautiful shirt for Felicity Fabrics blog and yeah it's stunning, it's got some beautiful details on it so I would recommend going and checking that out but also she does some Instagram TV videos and I really enjoy watching those and finding out about her sewing plans and things like that so I would recommend going and checking out Holly's Instagram. She's got a lovely bubbly friendly personality and makes beautiful clothes so yes go and check her out. And then for YouTube, I struggled to think of somebody specific that I've particularly been enjoying this month because I tend to watch the same people, whatever video they put up, I tend to watch. One of them is Rachel from Stitched Up. So she does weekly vlogs, so Stitched Up Weekly. And I'm really enjoying watching what she gets up to on a day-to-day -day basis, her like talking more about her life and yeah, seeing a bit more of what goes on other than sewing. So yeah, I would recommend going and checking out Rachel's videos if you haven't already. There's still a lot of sewing content there, obviously, but I do like seeing some of the other stuff as well. So yeah, those are my favourite things of the month. 
and all of my makes of the month. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did so. We are almost at 5,000, which is awesome. Thank you very much. So I hope you are all really well and thank you so much for watching today. I will see you again next time. Happy sewing, bye. Oh, Sam, forgot to do this bit. Don't know if that helped at all.